Greetings folks. Good morning and welcome. Welcome to another one. Finally, we had not on the kayak. Yeah? The new vessel that we bought a while ago, we had not. Nice, so we are real essential with water for washing fish, drinking, some clothes. In this bag we have some seasoning, pepper sauce, sauce, oil, salt. We have even a coffee, bowl, knife, and stuff. Across there we have the tackles, net, fishing rod there. Two other fishing rods down there because we have four rod holders. One, two, two in the black. Plus we have a rod holder ram on in here. And stuff. So anyway, try to hook up the seat without drilling the kayak. With this rope, I don't know if I might work good, it kind of rocking kind of way. So, we will see how it works. Yeah, so the goal today is to go out, achieve a piece of mind out there, relax, have a hammock, tie it up, and just explore and relax all the day. Yeah, so anyway, we leave it in a bit and uh, meet with somewhere out there. Nice folks, so we on the way. 5.20 a.m. in the morning, full day morning. Ah, as I said, I'm a boss, like it breeze. Remember saying that when my boy Aquaman was on his the side there in the Kia van, heading to catch, heading down Chagra myself. That's the day he danced on the arm, um, the Elvis Presley on the boat, yeah? Real soul, yeah. Rest in peace, bro. Nice soul. We go down and see how the water conditions is like and decide where we're launching from and where we're heading to. Yeah? Nice folks, look at that. We go and pack up and we go and launch from Alcan here. The soldier here go and assist me. What is his name? Picnic. Picnic? Yeah. My name Picnic, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go and launch here by Alcan, probably go out by the graveyard. Gaspari, chill out, find a spot type my hammock, make a little roast and see how it goes here. Yeah? So, we get this in the water. Nice folks, so we launch here. Man like picnic help my launch here. They got the picnic there. Yeah, yeah boy picnic? Yeah man, it's better. Yeah, man, easy. Nice, so now. nice folks, so off we go. First time doing a real kayak fishing trip with the kayak, so let's go out and see how it goes. Yes sir. Are you catching fish there? <laughs> Nice, so we outside. Alright, folks, so I'm uh, gonna have to take my extreme time today. Because it's a long time I here. Paddle a good distance on this kayak. Yeah? Right now, we know past cruising. To the left here. We'll be passing power boats in a while and then heading out in the open. Now, the water is super calm today. Eh? Hope the water ain't get too bad today. Could it have a, have a um, rough seas bulletin? So, as I say, we hope the water ain't get too rough today. Wow, check that beauty there. Yeah, folks, check out that day. Wow. Imagine that, look at that day behind me. Yeah? Anybody could make a wild guess much about wood? Yeah. Anyway, let me head out. Right, so there's I think uh, almost halfway to Gaspari on that side and the water calm. So we go and try a little jig in with the Kosem jig. Yes, sir, Mr. Kosem came home by me in person and delivered some jigs for the tryout. So, yeah, look at this. 
Nice folks, look where we are here. Cool, them jigs. And we are just had the jigs. We are the man himself here. Is he seen? Cool, them. So, Tommy, go and use that, the whole action of that. Yeah, yeah. See some action with it for Excuse sure. Excuse the garbage in the back. Have <laughs> some work to do. So nice. So, remember, use it anywhere you go. Catching. Yes, yes. Boche, Cavalli, Salmon, Snapper. Give it a try. So far, I see Brett Thompson and the man himself use it and it prevailing. Catching real fish. So, I can't be that sour, man. <laughs> this had a work. Nice. If they work, tell me take a bush bat. Take a bush bat. And then go again. Nice. All yeah. right, folks. Yeah. All right. So we got some frozen bonito here. It's hard. I don't know how it's going through the hook. So we try to piece of bonito. We have some herring. I think this bonito from a curry member when last uh, I had, how long I had this bonito. So we can just dip it in the water late. Throw out a bit. Hook it up to this kind of monster of a hook here. Wow. Not see conditions. I ain't drifting, so might have a good chance. I'll wait till I reach close the rocks them to do that jigging with the Kosem jig. Let me hope that Kosem jig prevail. If they prevail, it's still a good jig. It's just me. I saw a little fishing. Nice little be arm. Cast all this, we need to really swing it. Ah boy. Nice folks, I think I'm in a channel here about over 100 feet deep. Yeah? Right, so let's wait for that jam day. Alright folks, I had to pack up ship and ride. A big ship coming towards me. I don't know, the, the, the um, pilot boat man think be fried but some small swells and nothing yeah so we heading closer to Gaspari you know man wanted to tow me yeah <laughs> pull me <laughs> pull that I no feel like I get a nice bite you know yes sir alright you man see this active channel yeah I don't know where the channel is channel yeah. 2 or channel 6 or what yeah Probably we might get a little footage of the ship moving out. Yeah, so let me um, get out of the ship away and see what next. Yeah, gosh, I've seen that boat. The water is coming there too. Huh. Nice, so we will right, folks, so we almost reached Gaspari. It only looking far in the camera, it's about 500 feet away. And the ship, like the ship we was running from, the man said, come in and like it's a movie yet. Alright, so we're gonna try something right here. The water is starting to get rough yet. Kinda choppy and swelly, but not that rough. Yeah? I feel I'm gonna have a hard time paddling back later if this wind pick up. So, we can see how it goes. For the while, I'm gonna go and see the catch a fish, go and show tie up my hammock and relax a little hour. Yeah? In one spot. Then I'll go to our next spot, I'll scout out the area. Find out the spots, you know, me and the group. We have a group on WhatsApp, kayak fishing group, where we could go and launch and chill out and stuff. Yeah? So let me try something here. Alright folks, so that's one of the holes you have to scout out. I see a ledge there and well tied real low. Tied about flat right now, so I'm heading around Fantasy Island there. Eh? Check out the vibes inside the first bay before fantasy and see what I go on. And then probably if or when the water gets choppy as soon as I come out the wind and stuff will blow me down this way and I'll just keep docking into the bays until I reach around the point so scout out that side and then cut across the center P and paddle back up but I'll take rest intervals in between tie up my hammock relax regain energy and yeah We'll see what it is. All right, folks, head into around the corner by Fantasy and saw this concrete step here with this rope and stuff. Um, is this a trail to head straight across to the caves? I know. Anybody know in the comments? Let me know now. Yeah? All right, folks. Oh, there's some rocks here. Over some rocks. So I'm going to paddle away from here. Tie real low. 
so far I see a sign of bait at all, nothing. Nothing here jumping. Plain nothing. No sign of life on the water top. Huh. Bad business. Yeah. Right, so I believe inside this bay we had into here, it have a name, eh? I know the name. And for let's see what's going on, folks. Them big them rocks there underneath, they just going in. As far as I could see it's about 10-15 feet underneath the air and nothing. So them rock could break off and fall in the um in the water. Yeah. Just open and rain the water get that bad. If it get bad I could handle it, but still not. Alright, look, I think I see a sign of life up in front of it. Definitely. Yeah. Up ahead right there. Right there we see some beat plane. So I'll go and pass the full same jig to that. See what I go on. Yeah? Look how he's handling it when them boots pass there. Eh? Just up and down motion, up, down, up. Simple as that. Face the bow towards the wave. Face the bow towards this well. You need to face the bow, eh? You can hit broadside to this. Once this well is that big, and it's there full. Eh? Yeah, so. We are gonna hit yet. And we will put a half piece of bait. And see what we're doing. The only problem is I ain't organized one anchor yet for this kayak. And my anchor for the last kayak close. So we gotta fight them. Yeah. Nice folks, so I use our technique. We had um set out the line in front and use our marker there and every time the kayak drift paddle back so you know it wouldn't pull the bait so let me see if we get through that yeah right about now um yeah the um shocks and some problems I want to do this paddle floatable way I tried some problems see the line gets slack and wrap up on the arm Rod. Just to set back this. Nice. Touch bottom there. Set it out there. Wait for something to jam that. And just keep paddling and staying on course. Yeah. So as I say, we move a bit. We gotta keep forward. Every 10 seconds, we got to stroke forward. So you wouldn't drift too much. Yeah? We gotta be hit in a while. Try again from within 10 minutes. Heading around that for big day, that corner. Yeah, so I'll come back if I get it. Alright, folks, no bite yet. I get a bite on this rod. A good hard bite. But after that, no more bite. So let me go and shelter the sun, explore a bit. On that side there, I'll get in the name of the bay in a while. I think I could pull it up on Google and get in the name of the bay. I saw the name, but I didn't really register it and stuff. So, yeah. Um, come to this boat way. Right? Yeah, my talk boat. They want to make some wave stuff. Anyway, small swells. All right, so let me go around. So in the yes, back. folks. Oh, well, let's see them rocks there. Them rocks fall out from right there. So that is why. When you're boating and kayaking and you know against them slopes be aware 
look for if the rock looking loose and stuff not a vent here because if a big rock fall along there it can cause a wave and flip you and stuff swamp your boat yeah so um yeah, there is a tip there fantasy island there eh? i don't know why they call it fantasy island the whole island is gaspery island but they call it the fantasy i see nothing fantasy fantasy about it probably when it had the water slide and stuff yeah man like dudex boy i didn't um let dudex know i'm coming on the island dudex go see this and say i check him but yeah i like to put nobody out of the way and thing you know yeah Plus, I just want a little relaxation on the water. Just what I'm doing right about now. Fishing, catching fish or not. It's just perfect. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going on that bay a little bit right there, chill out at five, whatever. I go go on fantasy and I'll go back wrong. Yeah. Yes, folks. Check it out. Beautiful bay here. What up? Huh. Oh, cool, I just, huh? Yeah. Beautiful little bee here for beating. Private bee like. No boy. Nothing, nothing. So I'll go and check out that part now. Yeah. Right folks, this is right, this is where I was before I entered Mr. Gary premises here. So that video gonna be a promotional video promotional video yeah so that's gonna be separate so we're gonna continue the adventure from here we're gonna go back the water get choppy my can fish again probably I'm not, I'm not sure so we're going back around the mountain and tie up hammock chill out see if we can fish on the way nice so I need money on the other side all right folks so we actually put in the kayak to the test these choppy waters real choppy whitewash and see how the kayak go handle it. I know I'm not going to flip. Yeah. It's nicely. Choppy waters. But we go handle it. Against the breeze right now. As soon as I'm the corner there will be heading sideways so yeah. all right folks since i don't have an anchor and the water this choppy i keep moving too much and we have a rod in the water there so i think i'll go in the little hole across there fish from a rock catch my fish and do my pop up yeah water choppy and swelly yeah. so meet me around the corner on shoreline Nice folk, this was this is exactly what I was hoping for. As I break the corner, the breeze to push me down without paddling. Now we had to go around that pile of rubble there and go inside the bay and it completely calm inside here. You'll see the difference. Right now here choppy. Inside that be calm, so I'll go and chill out here. Yeah. Right folks, so we in the calm right now. Right behind that pile of rubble there rough. So I'm gonna go there, hang up my hammock offload my stuff this that and probably go over the mountain to that peak and fish right that kayak back out here and go on top that rubble there and fish catch my lunch still had to catch my lunch folks yeah when you have some cricks there and some this and that ingredients and stuff still gotta catch my fish a little protein for water head man So reach on the island here. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Stony pack of damage. Yeah, so if anybody can remember, me and Ricky did a catch clean and cookie and Jerome Daniel. 
right in that little zone there but the place change up garbage like that i think they had to do a project you know they're coming in these places certain beaches around the island this that and just clean up the place and the world follow suit yeah what are they snake plants they call that plant snake plants but i hope it are no snakes in them plant check it out anyway wow hmm inside they looking dread okay, anyway let me pull up the kayak and see one else. Right, folks so i feel that is me for the day there. i'm gonna chill here for the day oh they're too rough yeah nice so we over here right folks so we on dry dock day just to get them stuff off but oh gosh boy i feel to leave here boy watch it watch that i feel to leave here that is the results of people who use the ocean not the ocean, people always let down the hole. Yeah? Hmm. Way, sir. Alright, I wish I could have do something. I wish I was at the manpower or the water or whatever about uh, do something. No, no garbage bag. If I have a garbage bag, I'm going to how I can back on shore. I mean, nice here I look if it just clean up clean up clean up clean up only wood all people everything clean up yeah all right what we see in here boy fishing line probably you could find some Christy for Columbus treasure all right so I might clear up this I can't put everything somewhere there. I think I'll tie up my hammock from that tree to that tree and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Essential books, essentials. I can't be done right now now or the water kicking. Yeah, gonna have a good time paddling back to Alcan later. Hope the wind speed died on. Yeah.
Yes, folks, that is my home for the day. Just to catch a fish now. A fish. Big or small, we're gonna make it do. Nice, I'll do my little cook up somewhere. Right there. Yeah. So anyway, stay tuned. I don't know how I get on across there with the kayak or walk, you know what? Let's see how it goes. Alright, folks. Now take a little chill in the hammock there, a little doze away. Alright, so we need to get ourselves somewhere across there. Check that little area there. Too much a snake bush. I don't know if they call it snake bush because it has snake in it. So I am walking through there. Kind of rugged terrain there. We're gonna kayak right across there, about 200 or 100 feet. We have a little shoreline there. Launch there and we'll put fish on that side. Hope we get lucky. Yeah, so. So we almost reach. Yes, I'm going to find a point to get up on the um, rocks without bumping the kayak, anyhow. Yeah. Nice. So we find a perfect spot here to pull up the kayak and go on the um, concrete and fish. Yeah. Until we catch our fish. So easy access, nice place here boy. Yeah, scout it out quick. Probably could do an overnight camping right here. Yeah. Put some drums right here. And look at that. Wagwan boy. I got a piece of rod here to put a gaff on or something. Today is my lucky day, man. Yeah. We'll carry back that. Nice. So we're going somewhere there and cast out there and fish and see if we get a fish. Yeah. Folks, so we make we way down there the water again on real bad. Not too bad one time, but bad. Nice. See if we get some of them Zagaya crabs, they used to be it. And yeah, we go and fish. We go on a rod stand, probably I'll pass out and come and stick the rod in that pool there. Yeah, so let me go out there. Pack go here, boy. Zagaya crab, them hiding. Easy access to this little pillar here. Nice and clean, good waters, you know. We try something now. So far, we get one hit on that rod and well, the first MJ gained some hits, but they are taking. I realize it's some blue colored long fish, blue bone, I think, following it. So we can probably cast out a holding line or something. Uh, we cast down and see what goes on. Yeah, just have a cross back there. Get to the, yeah, kayak right in the back. You can see it from here. In case tight rise, I'm going to have it. Right folks, we trying all different techniques to catch that fish. Small hook, big hook. We we'll change around the lure. We we'll probably try one of the different lures. Right now the lure is tangled up inside it. Eh? Real bad. Yeah? So we're gonna 
try this little try different little and see catch a fish. We need to eat. <laughs> yes sir. So here we go again. I'll come back on when I get a hit. Yeah. Alright, I think I get through something here, but it seems like a crap of fish. Let me see how good I is. Feel like a crap of Hope is something worthwhile. Feeling like a crap hose again. Alright, we got some visual here. Ah boy, we finally get through. Yes, folks, we finally get the reds. We gonna eat good in a while. We gonna eat good, we gonna eat good. Oh lord! Ooh, it almost jump out and fall back in. Nice, so we get through. Oh lord, we gonna eat good. We gonna eat good. Proper, we gonna eat. Now I'll. Yeah. Let's see if we can get one more, and then we can head in base camp and. Yes, yes, folks. Are happy to catch our fish. Are you doing? Good today, Crick's fish with tomatoes and some orange juice on the side. Nice, a happy, a happy. Yeah, so here we are. Nika, get our next bite. Red fish starting to bite now. The red's out there. Alright folks, so I'm gonna put one one piece of fresh bait in each hook. If we catch nothing with that one, I'm gonna pack that one away. So one chance for each um for each rod and caster. Yes yeah, so if I catch nothing. I'm gonna wrap up here, head across back so on that side and deal with them um with our red fish yeah. yep so let me see how it goes all right so we can set back this i think we have a bait on that one and bait on the next one let's see what happened there Anybody know what this was about? A page or oil something or what? I you know. But there's concrete stuff on it. Yeah? Alright. So let me set up this right here. And see what I'm going to do now. Ah, 
uh, jam or this road here. Take and go, take and go. Aha! Big fish, big fish. Big fish, folks. Big fish in the house. You get me? Nah, man. This is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big one. This is the price catch here. This is the price catch coming up here. Definitely. The camera picking it up good. Nice fish coming up here. Nice fish. Nice fish, folks. Nice fish. Woo! Yes, sir. Lovely fish. This grunt almost as big as the reds that I just catch. So I have a reds and a grunt. Something nice. Yeah. Feel like a bigger fish, but it wasn't so big. Oh lord, and this breeze kicking. Way white water all day. Lord have mercy. Alright, let me put this in the cooler and we packing away this rod. When the next two um caster bait finish, we go and head back in base camp and deal with them fish. Yeah. Right folks. We're done fish for the while. We go and fix up something to eat, fry up them fish and stuff and then chill out at five and then head out. Yeah. So you just just to get everything back on the kayak and head across. Right across the Yeah. Right. 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 And tide definitely rising folks. It definitely rising because Earlier on, I slide the kayak on a piece of wood in the water there and it was dry. So tide definitely rising. Yeah, so there you go. Get them rest of stuff and see what next. What is this? Garbage in the place, boy. Not forgetting to carry my arm. Crayfish handle or a garf handle, yeah. Shakespeare, nice. So, we go and get them rest of stuff there before the ties rise too high and I carry good. Eh? Nice. So, well, let me launch back. Look at that day. A reds and a grunt. You can handle love this filet, fry and enjoy. Nice one, we get this filet in. Simple filet. Filet in skin. Filet in first and then get out the skin. And we'll see how it goes. Always remember when you're feeling, run your knife, let it rub on the bone. Yeah.
Right folks, this is why we've been with raw meat. We take out all the pit and bones, everything. Did work with no lime. A little flour here, dry flour. This is flour to fry and wash the fish. Apply some flour to the fish, take out the freshness. I mean freshness is good, eh? But they take out the freshness. Add some water, rinse out the fish. Yeah folks, and you know when you're hungry, any and everything tastes good. Right now my belly in my hand. Fish wash in here. Lovely. Right folks, look at that day. Niceness in the house here. So we could just add a little seasoning to this. Yeah. We are not fresh season, we have to use powder season. Looking like it has some pimento shadow bedding and stuff here. Yeah. Season up fish season. Nice, so add up some seasoning to that. Well this season is our salt already. So here go add no salt. Add that season and get a little turn up. Get a little mixed up and get the fire going now. Ah boy, not ready to eat here already. We're gonna put no salt. As I see the season is already our salt in it. Nice, look at that. Set that side and get a little fire going here now. Yeah. Nice folks to get the fire going now. We need some dry leaves. Dry leaves. Then twigs. Yeah. So we get our dry leaves lighting up here. We have a little sticks here. Let's see how it goes. Nice folks, so we have fire. First we gotta make a little coffee. I need that coffee for water. But luckily in that bad waters. Right, so we're gonna get the water to put for the coffee. Just Big up to my partner for bless more for this man. Yeah. Burn Peter King. Design, dynasty design is dynasty. Oh. Dynasty man, oh gosh. Did you? Gosh. Can't believe I forget. I really forget now. Nah. So let me um let me get this coffee going and then we'll see what next. We take it feed in the fire. So all I need is bamboo there, and once I get bamboo there, I fire I go and out that tall, a little dry bamboo. Good to go. Nice, so. Yeah, folks, as I say, it's only dry bamboo. I need to do this fry. Is that bamboo light up there? Yeah, I'm not stopping stop in that bamboo. I'm burning after it light up. So we bamboo light up. Good to go there now. Just to get a few more pieces and yeah. We have a few more pieces of bamboo and put it on standby. Oh lord, so much garbage here boy. Huh. Looking sickening. 
bamboo dry bamboo right here yes not too dry but dry enough Here. We gotta drink a strong cup of coffee. Not too strong, but strong. A whole eating spoon. Half, half them. Need that energy, I'll say. Coffee. We got milk here. Yeah. Just wait for that water to hot. belly in my hand right now yeah I'm gonna eat good today I mean not what's your post of the year stomach is good eating here yeah? <laughs> so everything you put in your stomach too good to eat nice so I'm gonna um, Yeah, folks, right on the spot here, me and Ricky from Canada do a fish roast, and then me, Jerome, Daniel, and Tin Man come here and do a little something too. Yeah. Right, folks, and now get the correct piece of bamboo, dry bamboo for the fire to light good. Cook up, fill out here right now. Stop bubbling. Nice, so just to throw this hot water. Yes, here. And pour back the pot. Fry. Nice, you can pour me here. Hot coffee on the house here. That we fish to the pot there. Yeah. Yay! One, two, three, quattro. Cinco. Oh, lad. Nice, folks. I will 
leave the ETN. So, uh, Ah boy, crispy fried fish here on Gaspari Island. Hey, <laughs> oh yes, come on, come on, baby. Nice red snap on grunt, red snap on red snap on family. Look at that, the color coming in, the color coming in. You get a little flip and see how the sun looks in there. Ooh, ha ha! Golden brown, they call it. Yes, sir. Nice, and I'm a beauty right now. Check it out, eh? Oh, yes, sir. My little coffee, the coffee getting cool fast, boy. Hmm. Coffee almost cool already. Nice, just to get a special little turn here now. A white golden brown. A white, too white. Yeah. Golden brown. Wow. Well, you know how this thing is smelling here right now. Hmm. Right? My belly hot in me right now. Oh, yes, sir. Nice folks, here we go. Hot fry fish here now. Check out my fry fish. Alright folks, I need to hot back some water for my coffee. If you get cool, I think I'm going to use the milk pan and hot some water. Woo! Folks, look at that day. Hot fry fish with some tomatoes. Squeeze out the seeds. Eating healthy today. I mean, the fry fish is oiled. They're yeah, not healthy, but. Yeah. More nice to go inside there. Next tomato. Squeeze 
these are these seeds. Maybe if I get the these seeds somewhere up there, it might grow. sauce here on the side Ooh, yeehaw mm, wow the barbecue sauce lashing yeah folks the barbecue sauce is from Annaberry kitchen and cheese village eh? and a little hot sauce here lovely man we're going on with this is some Crick's Vital Supply. Yes, folks. How could life get better than this? Simply can't. Yeah. And that is how we look in there for the while. Yeah. Tomatoes, fry fish, Crick's, and some sauce dip into this oh lord yes sir take a little tomato and put it on top ah boy look at that day uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. best meal of the century folks mm -hmm. guarantee best meal of the century no doubt. It's on hot coffee here. Yeah, check it out. Coffee sponsored by Vern Peter King. Ah. Mm. Yes, sir. Best Sunday lunch here, folks. Mm. It's a full pack of food. While I eat, that's my beauty. Huh? Bushman Express number two day. That's my beauty. Yeah. yeah. Folks, you don't need to be with a big crowd to be happy and have too much in life to be happy. Yeah? So, so let me go offline, enjoy this offline, and then get back to you all. Right, folks. Belly full. I'm feeling nice now. You see how nice I'm feeling? Take out my shoes. My shoes wet. These are wet shoes, like wet. Yeah. I I leave all my wares in the kitchen just so just so I eat. I leave it right there. But I'm um, in a bit, I go and clean up, wash up my old stuff, stuff. I wish I could have bag up all this and carry it back. Oh, yeah. Huh. Sad, sad. I'm feeling too good. Lying down next to the garbage, you yeah, You know what to see, nah? Nice, I'll just go and rock back here. Do a little time check. So, Alright, time is 3.21, I'm going to just lie down here and just do nothing for the gaze gaze at the ocean and just do absolutely nothing for the 
nap away for a little half an hour oh no no i think i should fall asleep yeah i'll oh, just chill out relax and do nothing and just breeze out yes folks so i want to say special thanks to the per persons who help me out with the kayak and get the new kayak and for the rest of people who sponsor and whoever in the past and stuff you all know your name i tell all you i could call all the names who um, assist me in the past yeah without me asking i could call them so on side yeah well the last was susie's now i went from susie's roti shop and it's not the last yet why coming down sometime in the future and yeah bigger vibes yeah so beautiful vibes here where it just uh breeze blowing nice you saw under the ocean you just close your eyes so you hear the wind blowing through the trees the sound of the ocean the little waves on the shoreline there now and then you hear a boat pass birds whistling in the background yeah and that's about it yeah but folks when I'm ready to hit that water there hmm thing is I know anchor in case I get tired I'm going to anchor take a rest and thing anytime I get tired and I stop the wind will blow me so um we we'll see how it goes now I'll make it I've been through worse than that already yeah I mean, if I see a boat pass I'll tell them to give my little toe inside but otherwise I'll make it right there man right there yeah, so anyway folks I'll take a little nap here relax a little cat nap and when I don't pack up we'll see what next yeah. right folks I'll pull a little five there a little cat nap feeling sleepy I ain't feeling to leave here I just feel to just chill relax the night and go home in the morning but unfortunately the kids are school in the morning and I need to go yep nice so let me get back in and hit the waters there the wind died down a bit i ain't seen the white too much of white caps probably i ain't feeling the wind from here yeah, probably out there the wind pumping so you see how it goes when we pass the water there ready ready rubble projecting out outside here yeah so anyway i'll go and get packing now wash up them stuff put it in bags and stuff and clean up all my garbage i mean unfortunately i can't clean up all that but carry back what i came with and probably a little one or two something i'll still take a one or two bottle or some something and throw it in my bag too yeah nice nice folks so we all packed up and ready to roll plan are we taking this probably head the wind blowing this way so we we'll cut across and then go up yeah so we all packed up there nice come up check oh i forget some oh i forget this almost forget this net and yeah ready to roll so meet me somewhere out there Alright folks, I'm feeling tired already. I saw the pal yet and hey <laughs> oh lord. That a rapid to go back there. Right, that way we go and face here. Nothing too treacherous but still. Yeah. Gosh, I'm about to get my apple. 
Yeah. Di kapul tadi. Well, you know how it going when I reach halfway. How oh, I feel it. Nice walk, so the wind speed is bad at all. Chops are bad, nothing is bad. Now leave the about. Now leave about 5 minutes, so I cross about 300, 400 feet already. So it's not bad. So we are reach across some, we might power boats or something, we might do a little chicken, we might have jetties and see we get. Yeah. It's a bit choppy, but no white wash and stuff. And I really forced it to battle. and of course small that look at it imagine for that dried up ship wow alright folks like the situation there good way to park still and I just wanna clear the mountain and go in the whole day kind of way so you win my team you're not in trouble anymore Open waters here. Yeah. Choppy waters. I know I'm gonna feel it tomorrow, eh? Yeah? Why paddle like this since before COVID-19? Yeah, sometime around here. Yeah. I do have a good hard paddle like this. You paddle it to go as harder. Yeah? Right, so. Right, folks, we all. We almost inside. Passing this small dry docks here. Now a dry dock is something you drive up on and the there's release the water from the the dock and it is rise and lift the ship off the water onto the dry. Yeah so this is our small one. I don't think this one could hold the the anti spirit and the James the Yeah? Swells in the Yes, uh, Wow. That was having some nice swells. Yeah. Alright, so after the dry dock, I think we headed to power boats. Power boats, no? Before power boats is um, Peaks. Peaks Marina. Yeah. Right over there is where Zanzibar was, but they move, I guess, I think, there. Yeah. And um, power boats up here, there. After power boats, inside. Yeah. Nice today, we have to do a little jig in here, nobody. I have no idea what's the time. A 
Lok we mau phone yang dah kompak Ben dia Saya ragun di Saya harap Decent di I explore I meet our friend Aku apa place tu aku godong di island Any day, any time, any hour Pula panjang di night Yeah Okay about the only thing is Me My wife and the kids Only We allow free anytime, anyone. If I carry in five people, six people, they gotta pay a little small fee. But I still free. So, um, because I, I, I will be promoting the place for the guy now. For Mr. Gary. Yeah? We can see one of these boots there from the Great Race, Owen. Owen? Okay. Oh, dah nak ask me boat Engine small Alright So we almost reach Well, 15, 10, 10, 15 minutes Paddle lagi Just paddle and really slow on it Taking my time here eh? Using most of that energy I ain't stop paddling for about 45 minutes now Don't waste the time. I'll probably pause for about 5 seconds, but not too long. And my hand, my muscle. Oh, calm this water is compared to right on the mountain there. Imagine that. Yes, sir. Ooh. That was a piece of paddle. After a long time, a serious piece of paddle. Nice, so let me get this thing back into this boot. Um, van and so on. That's about it, yeah. I'm not going to do any more recording. I accomplished what I went for. Catch one or two fish, cook, relax, hang up a hammock, find a spot to camp the night in Itamari Kudong, the island. And I find a spot by Gary. Yeah? So, anyway, hope you all enjoyed that little adventure. Over. This vlog over. And I get in out of here. I see you all in the next one. From Alka. Thank mm -hmm. you.